Is it just me or do all beach cities have some sort of like street with these flags and stuff? It's like a common place for all these places. All right, so today is my first day here in Santa Marta. Pretty sad because I seem to have misplaced my GoPro. I can't find it, so I gotta film on my phone. But I just wanted to give some of my first impressions here on the city. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't, I don't know where my expectation levels were because I've heard that Santa Marta is beautiful. It's a little, it's more chill than a place like Cartagena that there's not quite as much like tourist influence yet so it's still pretty like untouched. If you go to like a beach city, right, I can't help but compare it to a place like Panama or Cartagena. And those places are infinitely more developed than a place like here Santa Marta. Like Santa Marta is definitely more up and coming. There's a lot of things that the city lacks still that I think it could work on in the future. I would say that Santa Marta is beautiful, yes, 100%. Like it's, it, it is really, really pretty but it feels more of the beach for Colombians rather than for foreigners. The prices here are still pretty reasonable for hotels or hostels or Airbnbs. And for the food, for things on the street, it's still pretty reasonable. It's not super expensive because places like Cartagena is very expensive and places like Medellin are getting way, way more expensive too. It's nice that a place like this still exists. I think there's a lot of really nice uh, potential investment opportunity because Santa Marta, the, the word is slowly being put out there but I don't think a lot of people know about it yet, so it's still kind of like an untouched secret. When I first arrived here though, I wasn't entirely sure of the vibe. Like, I kind of liked it, I thought it was cool, but then I was walking around my barrio and I was where I, my Airbnb was at, and I was like, okay, I wasn't super impressed. Now that I'm walking on like the boardwalk and where everything's popping, Parque del Novios, I'm just like, okay, I can see the appeal. I actually really like it. Like, if you look like behind me, right? This is like one of the nice administration buildings. You have the beach and the boardwalk behind me. So there's a lot of like really cool things here in Santa Marta and a lot of cool things to do. But it does seem like a very small city. It does feel like you can accomplish most of the things in the city in a couple of days. I don't really have a set itinerary, it's kind of open. So I'm just gonna kind of figure it out as I go and see what comes to me. But at the moment, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the city. When I was in the city, I kind of felt like, man, I wasn't really vibing with the energy. But now that I'm on the boardwalk, I'm like, oh, this is actually really, really beautiful. I kind of wish I stayed here. And I did wish that I booked a hostel instead because this would be a place to enjoy, like in a group with other foreigners. Because I had the reservation, this was supposed to be like, we're uh, to celebrate my one year anniversary with my wife. So I had an Airbnb booked already and I didn't want to lose a reservation. So I'm staying at an Airbnb, but I would have definitely rather have stayed in a hostel. Okay, so now there's a storm coming in. So it's not as hot as it once was, but it's starting to rain pretty heavily. Something you need to keep in mind with Santa Marta, the thing I noticed right away is the heat, man. The heat and the humidity, it's rough. It's just like Cartagena, just like Panama, it's, it's pretty bad. So when you're walking around, you're gonna get sweaty, and especially during the mid-afternoon, you don't wanna be outside, man. It's gonna be way too hot. So it's raining like crazy right now, so I had to find shelter. Something else that I wanted to point out about the city is that unfortunately, it's very dirty. Something that I love about Medellin and Manizales is that they take a really big effort in trying to clean up the streets. I was walking around earlier and I saw a bunch of guys just throwing, like, they had these uh, baggies for water, so they'll drink the water and they'll just throw it on the ground. So they don't really take care of the, the littering and the trash everywhere. And you can see it, there are potholes in the street, there's a bunch of trash that you'll find as well all over the place. That's kind of what it reminds me of like not a super developed city, you know, because maybe it's just the difference in culture between the beach culture and the paisa culture. Another cool thing about Colombia that even though it's a pretty small country relatively, all of the places, all of the cities, all have their own different culture. Oh my God, it's raining like crazy right now, look. Yo, it is crazy. Look at this. Soaked, man. So it just got raining for literally the like the last hour and a half. It's just like all wet and it's kind of like grimy there's like this weird orange kind of haze everywhere the vibe is really weird now man because there's not a lot of people in the streets it kind of feels a little sad maybe it's because of the overcast and everything but it's a really weird vibe once it like rains and everything i don't know if that's just me also for some reason every single shop seems to be like a pizza place and then an ice cream parlor and it just repeats pizza ice cream pizza ice cream there's literally all the restaurants here so another issue that seems to be coming up a lot here in Santa Marta is safety. So I hear that it's not like super unsafe if you're in the building or if you're in the main touristy area during the day or at least until 10 p.m. But once all the police go away, then it can get a little sketchy. I don't think it's as unsafe as maybe like Medellin or a place like Cali, but you still kind of have that never ending, not fear, but you're always having to look over your shoulder. Maybe because Santa Marta is a smaller city is not as intense, but I feel like everywhere in Colombia you go, you always seem to have that feeling. I'm gonna be real, bro. This heat is absolutely killer, man. Like I was just walking around being outside for like 20 minutes. I just felt myself just wanting to go home 
and lie down and do nothing. And it's kind of unbearable, at least for me, you know? Maybe I need to get used to it, but it's a little rough. I just came back from the mall, and it was cool. It was a cool mall. I mean, it, it is it is what it is, but Santa Marta is definitely still in developing city. So something that I thought was very interesting is that I was expecting the population to be on the darker skin side because it's like a beach population. I was expecting kind of Cartagena. If you go to Cartagena, most of the population is like very dark skin. Where you come here and there's kind of seems to be a mix of everything. I was eating lunch with a guy who looked like he could be from the Paisa region, and most of the people I noticed are around like the Moreno, like the lighter skin Moreno side. And obviously you got some some dark skin people, some light skin people, but for the most part it's like a pretty good mix. That's what was surprising to me. I was expecting kind of like Panama, you know, poor, more people on like the Canela side, on that darker side. It actually seems to be more Moreno, or as they say here, I think it's like Trigueño, which is like that golden color that you have. But as far as the women go from what I've seen, right, it's a very mixed bag. Because I would say most of the people here are like average. People don't really say that you go to Santa Marta for the women, right? But you'll be walking around and you'll see some stunners, man. From my personal taste, I like it a lot. It depends on what you like, right? Because for me, I kind of have a taste for darker women. In my opinion, I I thought the stunners here were really really beautiful but they are much more further and farther between compared to a place like Medellin where you're just turning your head at every single corner. So I have to say the restaurant scene here in Santa Marta is surprisingly very good for what it is. Like the city is so underdeveloped but you'll have like random pockets of really really amazing restaurants. They kind of pop up out of nowhere but they're very very random but they're very high quality restaurants. I have been very impressed with the people here though. They are very friendly, they're very helpful, very nice. I think just small cities in general generally have people who are more open to help and more open to kind of show you around. So I haven't felt unsafe at all. You know, some people are kind of to themselves, but for the most part, people here are friendly and willing to help. And I don't think people have tried to scam me like the taxis or anything. It's overall been pretty good so far.